Okay, so this is going to be a short um, instructional video on how to go about calculating energy bills. And this is for level 5 numeracy. And what I hope to do with this video is to do a question and break it down into each step-by-step -step section that you, you need to complete in order to do the entire question. So let's start by looking at one of the questions to start with. So this is the, the, the kind of question you might be presented with. Up here we have the question itself, and this tells us we're looking to work out the next gas bill. And um, Below that we have some information on how to convert units of gas used into kilowatt hours, and that's important because it's kilowatt hours that we actually have to pay for. Uh, and beside that as well we have this excerpt from the previous gas bill. And this is very important because we're going to be using some of the information from this previous gas bill to work out our new gas bill. So, let's crack on. Let's look at the first step in this lot, and that's to work out how many units you've used between this bill here and the current reading here. Okay, so step one. Calculate the units used. Right, so let's explain what's going on here. Um, imagine you're standing behind your front door or outside in the garden, wherever your gas meter is, and you're standing there looking at the gas meter, and it is currently reading this figure here, 8,763. And in your hand, you have your current, uh, sorry, your previous gas bill, okay? And it tells us that the last figure that the gas company had from you was this number here, 8,409. It's the larger of these two numbers. And we know it's the larger of these two numbers because your gas meter is always going to count up the way. So in February, it read 7,910. In May, it read 8,409. And our number is 8,763. So we have to assume that, obviously, it, it's after this number here. And that's exactly what we do. Okay, we assume that. It's after this number here. It has to be. It's counted up from 8,409 up to 8,763. And how many units is that exactly? Well, it's fairly easy to work out. All we've got to do is subtract 8,409 from 8,763 to work out exactly how many units we've used between those two times. So, let's do that. 8,763, take away 8,409, and what we'll find is we'll use a calculator. You can do it in your head, of course, but I prefer to use a calculator just to be safe. So, 8,763, subtract 8,409, equals 354. So we know we've used 354 units between the time when this reading was taken here and our new reading here. Because remember, we're working out the next gas bill, a new gas bill. So there you go. That's step one completed. We have worked out how many units of gas we have used between times, okay? So let's move on to step two. What we have to do now is convert those units into kilowatt hours. So before I do anything, I'm just going to write 354 units here, just so I don't forget that number. This here, this box here, is an excerpt from the gas bill that we've seen earlier on. I beg your pardon, from the question that we've seen earlier on. Because in the question, you will be given all of this information. The only one you have to find is you, the units you've used. And of course, we've done that in the previous step. So we know what U is, okay? We know what this thing C is, it's 39.6578. We know what V is, we're given it, 1.0226400. And D is 3.6. We're given all this information. And we're given it so we can plug it into this formula here. Okay, kilowatt hours equals U times C times V, all divided by D. Now, some people say, well, where do these numbers come from? Truth is, I don't know, and I don't need to know. This is information that's provided to us by the gas company, and at the particular time that this, uh, the previous gas bill received, was received, these are the figures they use to calculate kilowatt hours from a given number of units, and, and we're going to do exactly that calculation. So, let's crack on. Kilowatt hours equals U, which is 354, multiplied by C, which is 1, no it's not, I'll just take that away, that's me reading the wrong thing. Let's take away that one, that was rubbish. Um, 
354 multiplied by C, which is 39.6578, multiplied by V, which is a volume correction, that's 1.02264400, and all of that is divided by 3.6. So, by doing this sum, we will convert this number of units into kilowatt hours. So again, let's open our calculator and we'll do that sum. Drag over here so I can see what I'm doing. So 354 multiplied by 39.6578 multiplied by 1.0226400 equals. So that's those bits that are in the, in the brackets. And now we'll divide it by the dividing factor, which is 3.6. And we get an answer of 3987.9725048. But for ease, what we're going to do is we're going to round this to two decimal places. And the reason we do that is because it does make the numbers an awful lot easier to work with. But also, if we look at the previous bill, that's what they do as well. They round their kilowatt hours to two decimal places. So. I can see no reason why we don't do the same thing. So our answer then for the kilowatt hours that we've used is 3,987.97 kilowatt hours. Fantastic. So we know how many kilowatt hours we've used and we, we've converted these units into kilowatt hours. That's the kilowatt hours we've used and that's what we've got to pay for. And that is step three. So let's look at step three. Now before I do anything, I'm going to write our kilowatt hours here before I forget them. 3,987.97 kilowatt hours. That is what we have used and that's what we need to pay for because remember we're working out a new bill. Now what we have here though is a little section of that excerpt of the previous bill. Now, something I'm going to explain in depth here because this can get a little bit confusing for people. It tells us in the question that the price and structure hasn't changed. Now, what that means is this. Our first 609 kilowatt hours will each cost 6.071 pence, which means the total cost will be £36.97. Now, remember this is the old bill. As well as paying this £36.97, they are paying a further £140.95 for the rest of the kilowatt hours they used on that bill period. Now, in that bill period, they used a total of 5,621.46 kilowatt hours. We haven't used that many. We've only used 3,987.97 kilowatt hours. So we're not going to be paying for as many kilowatt hours as they're to pay for. So let's look at how we work this out, because that's that's a bit confusing. I'm going to use this box below to help us. We have used a total of 3,987.97 kilowatt hours. Now let's imagine that this box represents all of those kilowatt hours. I'm going to change colour of pen just to make it a little bit easier for us all to see what's going on, OK? Let's go for that dark blue. What the pricing structure tells us is that our kilowatt hours, in this case it was 5,621.46, but remember we've only used this many. But because the pricing structure hasn't changed, it tells us that it's going to be broken up into two bits. And the only thing that's certain is the first 609 kilowatt hours that we've used will cost us £36.97. So let's just imagine that we're going to break this up into two bits. In fact, let's not imagine it. Let's go ahead and do it. There you go. There is the first 609 kilowatt hours, okay, in this bit here, okay? And we know from the bill, because the pricing structure hasn't changed, that those first 609 kilowatt hours will cost us £36.97. That's brilliant. However, we've still got a chunk of kilowatt hours to pay for, and we've, what we've got to do is to work out how many kilowatt hours are in this chunk. Hopefully you're starting to see it. It's not too difficult. If we started off 
with 3,987, and we know about the first 609, we've only got the rest to work out. So all we do is we subtract 609 from this number to work out how many kilowatt hours we still have to pay for. So 3,987.97 take away 609 equals something. Let's work that out. So again, we'll open our calculator and we'll just move it out the road a bit so we can see what we're doing. So 3,987.97 subtract that 609 because we know how much those cost. We don't need to work that out. We've still got to work out the cost of the remaining 3,378.97 kilowatt hours. So let's write that down, okay? 3,378.97 kilowatt hours. Oh, no idea what that says. That we still have to pay for. We've still got to work out the cost of this. We know the f cost of the first 609. We've got to work out the cost of this. Do you know what? That's annoying me, so I'm going to fix that. There you go. No point in having that there when it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Go back to pen. Kilowatt hours. So we've got to work out the cost of these 3,378.97 kilowatt hours. Well, we know what they're going to cost. Each one of them will cost 2.812 pence. So to work it out, we just do 3,378.97 multiplied by 2.812 pence. Let's call up our calculator again. So we've got 3,378.97 kilowatt hours multiplied by 2.812 pence. And that tells us it's 9,501.66 pence. Okay? So 9,501.66 pence. Now that's great. The only problem is it is in pence, and that's a bit clunky. So let's convert this into pounds, okay? To convert it into pounds, we just take that huge number of pennies and we divide it by 100, okay? And if we divide 9,501.66 by 100, what we get is 95 pounds and 2 pence. Now, I've rounded this up, okay? If you've done this in a calculator, you get 95.0166. But because we're talking about money, we have to use the conventions of money. And the convention in money is we always just have two numbers after the point. So 0 0.0166 rounds to 0 0.02. So what we've worked out is that the remaining 3,378.97 kilowatt hours cost us 95 pounds and two pence. And that's in addition to our first 609 kilowatt hours that cost 36 pound 97. So let's work out the total bill. It's easy. We just add that number to that number. So, the total cost is £36.97 plus the thing we've just worked out, which was £95.02. Okay? Okay, so let's just get the calculator up again. Let's work that one out properly. Thirty-six pounds and ninety-seven pence plus ninety-five pounds and two pence is one hundred and thirty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence. And that is the total cost of the gas that we've used. Hopefully that's been of use to you. Um, what we've basically done is we have three steps. First step was to calculate the units we used. The second step was to convert those units to kilowatt hours. And the third step was using the information we had in the previous bill to work out the cost of those kilowatt hours. Hopefully that's been of use to you. 
Uh, remember you can always come back and watch this video again. You might want to watch it and pause it at the relevant points as you're working through one of the questions. So you can copy the, the methodology that I've used in this video. Um, if you have any questions at all, just ask your lecturer. Um, there are materials on Moodle, so feel free to dip into that. Um, but this video should hopefully have helped you get your head around how you go about calculating energy bills. Thanks for watching.